If you're going to get serious about landscape photography, you've got to consider using a telephoto lens. You just have to. When you first get into landscape photography, it's very natural to think wide angle. You know, most people head out and they buy a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, you know, to give yourself the biggest chance of getting most of the scene in your photo. And that's a, you know, that's a good thing to do. But as you start to shoot more, and as you get into the kind of craft of landscape photography, you start to realize that there's so much more to the story than just capturing everything blindly before you. You know, you have to start thinking about story. You have to start thinking about the detail of what you're looking at. Otherwise, it's just this big open scene all the time. But at some point in your landscape photography career, you've got to start thinking, what's happening in my landscape? Where are the particular, beautiful, you know, astounding bits of the scene? That are going to be a much stronger photo than just the wide shot of the whole landscape before you. Now for me, if you look down onto the beach down there, you can see a lone guy walking on this big expanse of sand and it looks beautiful. And as a big wide angle shot, you know, it would look okay. But actually, I love the idea of just picking out him in the landscape with some of the story of the birds that are in front of him. See those, maybe you can see the birds that are there and just some of the story that's around I think makes a stronger picture than the whole scene. Sometimes it's really worth just getting low to the ground. You know, you might even want to include a bit of foreground in the shot if you're using a wide angle lens. Um, and sometimes with, with a telephoto as well, but this one's 150 millimeters, so I'm not going to get much foreground in, but the story is there. So telephoto lenses will give you that ability to pick out your story in the landscape. And I often find it more interesting, you know, to have that shot which just really says something, that's got that dynamic feel to it, which, you know, has been carefully picked out in the landscape. And something around about 150 millimeters will give you a really good amount of reach. You know, like this behind me is the Dirt or Door in Dorset. And I have to get to about here to be able to get a shot of the whole thing with this telephoto lens. So you, it gives you an idea of the reach that you can get um, with something like, like this lens. This one is a Mamaya lens. It's a very old lens. It's an old medium format 645 lens, which I've adapted onto my Fujifilm GFX 100S. And it does give you a really beautiful look. But you know, any lens that you can find that's just got some reach um, this is quite cheap because it's an older lens and I'm manually focusing. So it just gives you that f beautiful feel to the, to the shot. Um, the other thing that the telephoto lens will do is it will give you the compressed look on your images. 
And what it does is it, it almost brings everything closer together. So when you're shooting into the distance, what happens is, is that it just kind of squeezes everything with that compression. So, you know, parts of the landscape that to my natural eye and to a wide angle lens would look farther away. Actually, they get kind of brought in and compressed together and it gives you that tight looking image. And I think that's a really nice way of looking at um, a, a scene to just kind of bring it all together. It gives you that, that dynamic kind of feel to the photo. Now, if you want to find out more about using your telephoto lens, as well as tons of other photography related tutorials, get over to photographymadesimple.uk and there are loads of tutorials there to teach you and they're completely free, just there to make you a better photographer. The other thing is, if you want to come and join my Patreon channel, um, I would love you for it. <laughs> People on there, I'm so grateful to you for being on there. They're just there to support me as a creator and some people come and just join me for a month and it's just really helpful. Um, so please do um, come and join me, the link's below. And there's uh, three different tiers there that you can choose from. The, one more thing is to say, this bag, some of you have noticed my new camera bag and I wanna, just wanna say thank you to KNF Concept for sending it to me. They haven't paid me to make a review on it and you know, no, nothing like that, but they did send it to me and I'm really grateful to them. And uh, you, you may have seen it in my last couple of videos. It's actually a fantastic bag and I wouldn't be using it on a day like today where I'm hiking miles if I didn't like it. It's beautiful here on this landscape, but the only issue is, is that when you come down, you have to go back up again. And so I've just enjoyed a lovely descent down that cliff there. And now, got a few minutes up here, but what a landscape. I mean, look at these views. Look at that. Such a special place. In fact, there might be a good shot there. See that guy walking? That could be a good photo. Now, I've, I've got my lens, obviously in manual focus, but I've got the focal point set to, it's almost set to infinity. Don't know if you can see it on there, but it just means that anything in the distance there is going to be in focus. And I'm around about F11. So it also means that I'm pretty much guaranteed all of my shots past a few meters are going to be in focus. That right, guy's moved on now, down towards the, back towards the dirt or door. And this scene is an ideal shot because the sheer size of that cliff is put into perspective with him walking beneath it with his dog. And actually on a wide angle lens, it would all just look quite far away and it would be difficult to get that perspective of the size, but the telephoto lens is gonna compress everything together. And that compression should allow me to make his size compared to the cliff really stark and it should really bring out that dramatic effect. Now there are a couple of things to remember when you use your telephoto lens in a landscape photography situation. Firstly, if you're like me shooting it in manual focus, I really suggest somewhere around about F11, which will give you as much as possible in focus. Now, obviously, if you're wanting to create an out of focus look, then, you know, go down to the F2.8 or whatever. But today it's such a bright day that I need the F11 to close the aperture enough to not overexpose the photo. And the other thing to remember is that if you don't have um, image stabilization or OIS in your lens, then you will need to have a camera like this one that's got the image stabilization built into the lens. Otherwise, you may get some camera shake. Now, if you do, 
There is a way around it, which is to make sure your shutter speed is fast enough so that you're not getting that camera shake by um, shooting handheld. Now you can go to a tripod, but that's just another thing you have to bring with you. So the easiest thing is to have a camera that's got some image stabilization in the body, and then you don't have to worry about the lens or make sure you're up at like 500th of a second or something on your shutter speed, which will give you, um, you know, that ability to shoot without any, hopefully any handheld camera shake. There's a lovely view back towards the, the archway of the Dirtle Door across this cliff face, weaving around the beach. It just gives a lovely perspective of the whole thing. Shooting with a telephoto lens will also help you to create more minimalist photography. And I am a huge fan of minimalist landscape photography. Maybe it's because I'm a simple person. <laughs> the thing is, I just love small details, lots of negative space. Um, I love that kind of feeling of just a room to breathe in a landscape shot. And so this kind of thing down here, you can see there's this little stack sticking out of the, the ground and the sea. And I'm sure there's something in that that I can create a minimalist shot with using this telephoto lens. Mm -hmm. 